Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a few prefab homes that are on another level. If you're new to the offsite construction space, you're in for a real treat, and I think you'll be a bit surprised by a few of these models because they're even new to me. What I like best about the offsite construction industry right now is the designs are getting better every year. These are not your grandma's single wide. The company I'm talking about goes by the name of Bonneville Homes, specifically their micro loft series, and I'm gonna tell you up front these will not disappoint. Not only do these folks build some of the coolest looking homes available, but quality is such a priority for them that in 1977 they opened their own factory because they couldn't find anything else that met their standard of quality and speed. Now that is what you call commitment. Buckle in because these homes are an absolute treat. What I'm going to do is tell you who they are, show you my favorite models in the Microloft series, and tell you how much they cost. So let's do it. Bonneville Homes is a fourth generation family business that's been in the housing industry for over 60 years. Their mission is to design, build, and deliver unique trend-setting concepts using cutting-edge construction techniques. Just wait till you see some of the stuff they're building. Trend-setting concepts, indeed. The company was launched in 1961, starting out selling and servicing mobile homes and 16 years later opened their own manufacturing facility. From then on, they built all their own homes. The Microloft series is just a small subsection of their total offering. They also offer a bungalow series, a two-story series, a nature series, an urban series, a traditional chalet series, a modular loft series, and a signature series. Oh, and on top of that, they've expanded into multifamily and commercial buildings, so I guess you could say they'll build whatever you want. I'm assuming nobody wants to watch a four-hour video on Bonneville Homes in one sitting, so today, we're only looking at the Microloft series and we'll circle back to a few of their other models another time because they're definitely worth looking at. The Microloft series is a collection of 14 different modern homes ranging in size from around 500 square feet up over 1200 square feet and the designs are, dare I say, incredible. I'm going to show you my favorites in each size range starting from the smallest and working up. Let's check them out. The smallest home in the Microloft series is the Zen with a footprint of 522 square feet. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom with a very unique and well thought out floor plan. The outside of the home has a cool modern look with large overhangs on two sides and lots of windows. On the model home, they went with a black accent against the wood exterior, which I think looks phenomenal in this style of home. 10 out of 10 for exterior. The floor plan has a front living room, which is pretty standard, but it's the middle section of the home that they got creative with the layout, and I think it works extremely well. Typically in a plan this size, it would be living room, kitchen, hall to a bathroom, then the bedroom, but they've got a galley kitchen on one side and a bathroom that passes through to the bedroom on the other. I like it. Another way they save space on this home is by having the washer dryer in the bathroom instead of the hall, which is nice because then it's tucked away. The modern vibe continues throughout the home and is enhanced with the staging in the show model that is fully decked out, which I always find helps me, a guy who knows almost nothing about decorating a home. What I like best about the Zen is the look. There are a lot of floor plans in this size range, but not a lot that look as good as this one. This home would be perfect for a single or a couple of any age, a summer home, or an Airbnb. So many options. Out of all the mid-size micro lofts they have available, the one that jumps off the page for me is the Micro V. What we're dealing with here is a two bedroom, one bathroom home that's exactly 800 square feet. One thing that stands out about Bonneville homes is they'll take a fairly standard floor plan and make minor tweaks that make a big difference. The changes are simple, but they're not very common in the industry, and I'm not sure why they aren't more common. The change they made to this plan, aside from more windows and a different roof line, is the sunroom off the side of the home. What I like about that is it just gives the home a unique look from the front because some people want a small home but don't necessarily like the look of a single section. One thing I hear often when people are looking for a factory built home is they don't want one that looks long and skinny. And that's fine. The sunroom is a way to break up the long side of the home and gives it a look that might appeal to those who don't like the traditional single wide look. The rest of the home is pretty standard and if it wasn't for all the windows on the front and the high end finish, it would be a fairly common unit. 
It's a front living room and kitchen with a hall that leads to a bathroom, then to bedroom one, and finally to bedroom two. On the show model, they've done a wood accent on the ceiling and full staging so we can see it in its full potential. What I like best about this floor plan is how they put a ton of windows in the living room but included a wall that can be used for TV, entertainment center, and all of that kind of stuff. I know you aren't technically supposed to set up the living room around the TV, but let's be honest, a lot of us are gonna do that. Some people watching this might be a lot more sophisticated than me and will set up their living room for conversation and novels, but I'm setting mine up to watch Fast Five. Deal with it. But wait, there's more. My favorite of the entire Microloft lineup is the Alti. The Alti is the biggest of the entire Microloft series at 1,232 square feet and isn't really what I would consider micro at all. It's a two bedroom, one bathroom home and another design you simply don't see every day. The main floor of the home has one bedroom, the bathroom, kitchen and living space and upstairs you'll find the second bedroom and a sitting area in front of a row of windows. For the size, this has to be one of the coolest floor plans available and yes, I realize I say that all the time, but what can I say? There are a lot of great models. What's so unique about the Alti is it's a two-story single section home. I've seen them before, but not very often. I think this layout would be great for retired folks who want to spend most of their time on the main floor, but want to have extra space for when family or friends visit. I don't really even know where to start with what I like best about the Alti because it's pretty much everything. By moving the second bedroom upstairs, the living space, kitchen, and bathroom become bigger than the other two models. There's a semi-floating staircase up to a bridge that connects the sitting area to the bedroom that might be a bit of a novelty, but I like it. The only change I would make if I was buying the Alti for myself would be a second bathroom upstairs but I think that's about it. I've been doing this long enough to know that people want to know how much, so let's talk numbers. Bonneville Homes does their pricing a bit different than most. They have pricing levels from one to six, and then they have a group of homes that fall within each level. You get an idea of the price range the home falls in, but not the exact number. It's better than nothing. Should be noted that Bonneville Homes is located in Canada, so the prices listed are in Canadian dollars, but I will do the USD conversion that's accurate at the time of posting this video. The Zen falls into price level one, which means it's somewhere between $150,000 and $275,000. The Micro V and the Alti both fall into price level two, meaning they're between $225,000 and $350,000. Yes, there is some overlap between the high end of level one and the low end of level level two. Not sure why, it is what it is. If the mission at Bonneville Homes is to design, build, and deliver unique trend-setting concepts using cutting-edge construction techniques, I would just like to say mission accomplished. Their Microloft series hits on a totally different level than a lot of the homes currently available in the space. I'm going to circle back to Bonneville Homes in a couple weeks to see what else they offer because the Microloft series is really just the tip of the iceberg and I'll post that video right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you've liked manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.